the principal at Scott High School refused to lower the flag the next morning after King's assassination. Uh, and the students rebelled and they marched out of the school down um, Collingwood to Bancroft Street and um, uh, stopped traffic, um, injured a driver, a white a gentleman who they dragged out of his car. Uh, uh, and they were not merely just marching, uh, they were destroying whatever was in their path. They had got to Robinson uh, Junior High. It just happened by God's providence that the two leaders of the student uh, march uh, were the grandchildren of, well, their grandmothers were members of my church, so I knew both boys uh, <clears throat> very well. And amazingly, um, we were able to bring that, that um, destructive march under control as I ran up to the front of the line, recognized who was leading this whole thing. All I had this was the thing that the police wanted to know, what did you say to those boys that made them bring everybody to a halt? I said, I'm, I told them, if you don't stop this march right now, I'm going to tell your grandmother on you <laughs> And literally, I said, well, they said, what's our options? <clears throat> I said, well, we need to, I can't tell you that. Let's arrive at that. So Braden Church, uh, Braden Methodist Church is right around the corner from Robinson, just half a block away. And he said, lead your, the whole group over there and we will bring the city fathers, all the people you want to talk to or you think can make a difference. Uh, and that's where we held uh, that rally.